now that we've lubed the speedo cable and also checked the bulbs now it's time to replace the gas gauge uh, the fuel gauge on the car here uh, for some reason was maxing out at three quarters and then coming down um, I was able to find a new fuel gauge uh, actually on eBay and we're going to try that out and if it's not that then we'll have to check out the sending unit this is the new gauge that we're going to put in uh, it's in great shape as you can see no rust on the rivets or anything and we'll, uh, we'll give it a test in order to get the bolts off here uh, this top one in the upper corner it's a little too tight with the sheath the cover for the top as you can see it comes down so I'm going to take off this top piece first uh, it's just three um, quarter inch hex nuts on the top so we'll lift that off and then we'll remove the gate so now that we have the top sheath off we have much easier access to each of the uh, three uh, bolts here to take out and we're going to do that now Okay, so we got the three bolts out, and now we're just going to gently lift the gauge out of its connection and out from underneath the upper left corner of the speedometer. Okay, now I'll take that gauge out and I'll set it to the side. Here is the new OEM replacement gauge, um, ready to be put in. Other only minor differences between the two. Of course, the color is the same. Uh, above the gauge itself, I noticed it's a brown plastic on the new gauge, but black on the original. Uh, and on the back, the original had yellow tape, and the new one has a pink, but otherwise identical. So, a custom match here, it'll put right back in underneath there, slip it back in, and push it into place on the connectors. Okay, now I will reconnect the three um, bolts and then we'll be set. And there we are with the three bolts back in place, one, two, and three. Gas gauge is now all placed and we're going to put this back into the car in a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to check a few more things on the speedometer lubrication and then we'll reassemble uh, putting the sheath back on top. So here you can see I've just gently folded the sheath back on top. I've aligned the plastic piece underneath. It is reversible, that blue piece. Uh, and on top, made sure that the holes are aligned as well. And we'll pop that in with the three bolts.